So now let's have a look what really happens when we step in and why it seems to be magic. But I can explain it to you and uh, it is very important that you get that base uh, as knowledge is always the most important part. It doesn't matter if we're talking about physics, math, music or playing pool. So if you start uh, to do something new like training with this method, you have to get this down. This is the most important part. And we are really in a lucky position because dancers have very, very difficult moves to master and um, all kind of moves and we only have those three really easy moves to master and I'll show you how to do that, okay? So I will start with the first category here on a shot with a very slight angle and position the balls like this that you can see what I'm doing, okay? Right, when I'm standing here and I will show you both ways to step in all great world-class pool players nowadays step in with their front foot okay so they have already positioned their body with their back foot in their line so our line is a little bit different but it's the same uh, as we have to step in or being behind our balls on this line so let's pretend we don't step in with our back foot but with our front foot only like pool players normally do snooker players all world-class snooker players step in with their back foot and I think they are really great playing guys. Um, they play exactly their alignment and their putting qualities uh, are absolutely great. And so it's been proven that it's both possible. So I pre prefer to step in with my back foot as well, but you can do both. So let's see here. I stand with my back foot and my dominant eye, which is my left eye, um, right over my line, my ETO line, my line that is easy to orientate, uh, is going from the shadow right here, where you see the tip of my cue stick, the shadow and the ball meet there. Under the ball is a shadow and just where I perceive the, the, the shadow getting out, from this upright position is my starting point. And this line goes right through to the center of the object ball. So right on this line is the center of my back foot and my dominant eye. So if I would have my right eye as my dominant eye, I would have to stand more square, uh, sorry, more frontal like this here, as I have to when my left eye is dominant, as I'm a righty, my left eye is cross dominant. So here I'm standing here on this line and now I just step in with my front foot pointing to the pocket. But the crazy thing is that you don't see that if you don't really pay attention. When I lift my foot and go into this direction my body turns to the right. So it would be the same if I would step in shadow to center, step in with my front foot and my body turns to the right, more to the right than before. So, what happens now is my stick, when I put it here, right at my hip, you see my pool cue is pointing now with its outer edge, this part of the shaft, to the shadow. Okay? And if I would lengthen this line, it would point right to the edge of the eight ball. And all I've got to do now, when my cue stick is here, bring the, set, uh, the tip to the center, that's all. Here, somewhere behind the joint, that's all. Now I can just go down, do nothing, absolutely nothing, bring in my cue stick on my hand, and I can shoot. And you saw that it's a very, very easy movement. So, normally we will not shoot like this, I just wanted to show you that it is really easy. So once again, I stand on this line, my, my dominant eye is on the line shadow to center. So like this here. Now I just step in with my front foot. Now my body, body has turned to the right. When I lay down my cue, 
the outside of my shaft points to the shadow, or the inside of my shaft points right to the center of the cue ball. It's nothing else. So it's half a tip away from the center, to the right now, on this cut shot to the right. And all I do is I bring my tip behind the center of the cue ball. Take my hand under the cue stick and I can shoot. So let's see this here in a whole process, okay? I just step in, shadow to center. My left foot points in the direction of the pocket. My body has turned. Now if I let go my cue down here, the outer side of my shaft points to the shadow and further to the edge of the one ball. So all I've got to do now is just to hold my cue like this here or with an arm here in, in front of my body and just go down concentrating on the center of the one ball, nothing else. I do nothing else and I can shoot. So there is no movement that is really special that I have got to do. So in case you would like to, you could even pivot manually to the center of the cue ball. You don't have to do that. It is very easy as you saw just to step in. But if you want to, you can try that. So step in, shadow to center. Just step in with your front foot pointing to the pocket. Going down so that the left side of your tip points to the center of the cue ball or the right side of your tip. It depends always how thick your tip is, but the left side of your tip should be um, to the right at the center. And I just you know, bring the tip of my cue stick behind the center of the cue ball. And I can shoot. So that's the same process, just manually. But it is so easy when you've done it sometimes uh, that you won't have to do that probably. So I step in, shadow to center, put my front foot over here, my body has turned, and now I do nothing else but concentrating on the center of the three ball. So once again, shadow to center, I pretend I would have stepped already in. Put my front foot in the direction of the pocket and just go down concentrating on the center of the object ball, nothing else. I don't look to the cue ball. I get behind the center of the cue ball naturally.